Let's talk about then again uh, who who is there. Um, Clayton Kershaw not getting the start, uh, but he is seemingly on the mend. W what can you tell me about his readiness and when we expect to see him on the mound this year? Yeah, I, I would say uh, as we sit here today, I would say Clayton is a couple weeks away um, for for pitching uh, for us uh, on Saturday. Here we've got a three inning. We call it a simulated game where he faces hitters and. He goes in the dugout three different times, pitches three innings, and um, so then we'll continue to build up from that. Um, he's doing really well. A uh, little bit behind as far as he's made so many consecutive opening day starts, but uh, understanding that it's a long season and we just need him healthy, so he's coming back. He'll be fine. And Rich Hill is alongside him on the, uh, they call it the injured list now. Yes, Rich. they do. Um, the injured <laughs> list. I want to get my wording right. Um, and, he, and he's... Uh, probably a few days ahead of Clayton. So we get these guys come back soon. And Bueller, what about Walker? What's and going Walker on? is going to start the fourth day of the season, that, uh, okay. that Sunday against the uh, the Dimebacks. And he's raring to go. You're going to see uh, 97 to 99. Uh, on that Sunday, and, and he's locked and loaded. Okay. Now, when you simulate a game, are you you doing just now the two minutes between innings now? I mean, you know those rules. They've sliced a few yeah, seconds off right. here, Dave. No, you know, that's fair. That's fair. Um, so it, it, it's kind of trying to simulate the other side, offensive side. So, you know, whether it's a, a five, seven, ten-minute inning, and okay. then we get them back out there. But I hear you. No, I don't. You, know, you just want to make sure you're complying. You know, I, I, mean, I appreciate this is that. It. Pace of, like, We're even trying to replicate as much as we can. We, you're right. We call that simulated pace of play rules. <laughs> That's right. That's we, I don't know. I, may, I might be the only one to call on that. That might have been the royal we. Uh, what is it like having a shortstop coming back from Tommy John's surgery with Corey Seager? Oh. That's a rarity, it, it, Dave. It's like, you know, you talk about free agents and, and the guys that, that were kind of signed and, and traded and things like that. This is our one of our big acquisitions. You know, we didn't have Corey all year. And so to get him back, uh, Rich, when you see him, he looks fantastic. Um, he's healthy. He's moving well. Um, to see him take the field, to see him uh, in the batter's box, obviously I get excited. Our players get excited. Fans get excited. So we are considerably better uh, when Corey's healthy. And um, early on, uh, I'm going to you know run him up there three games and then give him a blow and get him back in there. And so we're going to kind of manage that early so then when we get in the middle of summer, we can kind of let him go. And are, are the Dodgers done adding? I mean, there's so many guys. It's unbelievable in this day and age, the number of talented players who are still unsigned with opening day hitting. Uh, I, don't, I don't recall an instance like that. Are, are the Dodgers done? We're done. We're, we're done. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of talented players out there, obviously. But I think that in-house, what we did in the winter, uh, where we're at right now, I love our guys. I love our depth. And um, Andrew uh, Friedman, our team president, does a very good job of kind of trying to put together a major league roster and uh, prepare for the un unknown, the unforeseen injuries and things like that. So uh, to your question, yeah, we're ready to go. We're all set. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.